Hi, I'm Ben Pearson, the Roads of Tracker, and today I'd like to talk to you about the curious object that's nicknamed Oumuamua. Now, this is an object that has been found to be visiting through our solar system that's coming from outside of the solar system. It's the very first time that we've ever confirmed an object is positively coming from outside of the solar system, which is pretty exciting. This object was discovered in 2017, and it's making, been making some news recently because of some curiosities that have been found about it. Now, Oumuamua came from, as we said, the distant parts of the solar system, and we can actually predict where it should be based off of the gravitational pull of the sun, the planets, and other major objects that are throughout the solar system. When doing so, scientists have plotted the data, and they found that there are some residuals that are unexplained by just gravity model alone. This is actually pretty common. There are a number of things that can affect the direction of an asteroid or comet or other such object that don't have anything to do with gravity. And so they went through a list of a whole bunch of possibilities. Now, they said outright, the most likely one is that it's some kind of an outgassing event. So if we imagine that Oumuamua was made out of pure ice and was coming through and was leaking just a little bit of ice, then that little bit of ice could push the object a little bit more, and the direction of the push that they have observed from the data is that it's coming anti-radially. So basically it's coming and pushing directly from the sun towards the object and pushing it outwards like that. It doesn't model with any other form of acceleration. Okay, so this is curious and they're trying to, to track through what could be causing this. Why didn't we see this? Well, first of all, they found that the amount of acceleration that is modeled would barely not be detectable using some of the telescopes that have been sent up there to observe it. So it is theoretically possible that it could do this. The one really unusual thing is the object is rotating pretty predictably and there wasn't any noticeable change in the rotation, so it's a little bit unusual. But this paper stresses outright that this is the most likely explanation. This, however, is not the explanation that most of the media is focusing on. The first alternative explanation that they offered was that it was due to solar pressure alone. Now, if you have any object out there that is light being pushed on it, then that object is being pushed away. So the lights that are in this room are pushing me in that direction. It's not very much force, it's a very small amount of force, in fact. But it still does exist and can be measured. And if you have a very long, flat, thin object, it can actually be fairly significant. This is the principle behind a solar sail. They've had a solar sail that has set sail from Earth to Venus using just the pressure of the Sun after being launched into orbit around the Earth. Now, the thing is, is if this was due to solar pressure alone, this would have to be a very, very low density object. It would have to have low density enough to the point where it would be made out of virtually nothing. A thousand times less than any asteroid that we've seen in nature. So what would that be? Well, you'd have something that's very reflective and very thin sounds like a solar sail. So that's a very curious possibility, and it is theoretically possible that this could be visiting from outside of the solar system. It could be some kind of an alien visitor. Now, this isn't too likely, but there are some other anomalies that this object that I'd also like to talk about. One of the really interesting things is the light curve, which you take a telescope and point it at it, and you watch how it changes its light pattern with time is very, very large. It's a factor of 10 to 1 from the brightest point to the dimmest point. And the two most likely explanations for this particular orientation is that you either have something that is like a cigar shape, a very long cylindrical type shape, or it's a pancake shape and it's rotating around and it's its edge on that it's not very showing very much. If it's this way, then it's showing quite a bit of light. So these are both very, very curious shapes and not something that we see in the asteroid. It's pretty common to have potato-type shape of asteroids where you have different various irregular shapes, but 
3 to 1 is pretty common for a light curve for an asteroid, but 10 to 1 is virtually unheard of. So whatever this object is, it's very curious, and unfortunately we're not really going to be able to learn more about it. If nothing else, this paper showed that tracking this object is actually going to be rather difficult to do. We can't see it right now because it's outside of the range that the Hubble Space Telescope can see it, and that's the furthest thing that's out there. And we can't really send a spacecraft to go to it because A, we don't know where it is, and B, it's moving so fast that it would take an enormous amount of work to get out there that fast. But it is still a very curious object, and if nothing else, it's got us to think, what would happen if really we did have aliens come and visiting us, just sending a probe here? The thoughts on what this is are very reminiscent of the Starshot project, where we're trying to send these little tiny miniature solar sails with a camera and with the ability to transmit back to Earth, that we could send thousands of these out to all of the stars in the area, and within a matter of maybe 50 to 100 years or so, they would be able to collect the data and send it back to us, and we'd be able to learn something. It's really a very curious object, and hopefully we'll learn more about it, but unfortunately it's kind of difficult to do so. Thank you much for joining me. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have. And until next time, keep on tracking. Take care.